All right, unboxing time. And unboxing time with Kara means... <laughs> I have to adjust a little bit. We've got a mystery box here from a subscriber. Uh, even though it's already open, we just cut it open and then saw there's a note and, and then I realized what it was. And so the person uh, ordered it from Call of Athena and, and had it sent to our address. So, uh, but we don't know yet what's in there. I have no idea. He didn't tell me. And uh, we shall do the thing. What is that note? Uh, the unwrapping thing. Yeah, that's first off the note thing. We shall do that. The note thing. Ah. Yeah, we do the note thing, the reading thing. Yes, that's the name. Okay, so, uh, hey Skull and Kara, long time fan of your channel. Thank you both for giving an outlet to us weapon obsessed but totally harmless weirdos. Well, you're welcome. You says that I'm harmless? Here's an interesting blade that I've wanted to check out for a while. I figured it's timely considering your recent video on woodless products. I love the looks of the integrated handle. It seems like it would it could be one of those knives that strike a handy balance between tool and weapon. Would love to see you put it put this through some abusive testing and see if it holds up. Oh, that's kind of what I do, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I look forward to your future videos. You've always got a plain uh, oh, a place to <laughs> You've, I almost read, you've always got a plane to crash. You've always got a place to crash and possibly do some backyard cut tests if you ever find yourself in Boston. Who knows? It's not planned at this point, but uh, we'll see. Your American fan, Chip. Please let me know if you need anything further from me. I'll look out for an order and shipping confirmation in the next few days. Thank you. Regards, Chip. Okay, thank you very much, Chip. We'll see Thanks. what we've got here. So, did I have my knife ready, but I don't think we need to actually... No, no, it's, it's open, it's fine. Well, if it's windless, it might be very oily. You want to scrape that off with your knife? Yes, clearly. <laughs> I yeah. doubt it. Oh. Yeah, you, you can tell it's a color peanut box by all the brown paper. And there goes my mouse. Sorry, mouse. Also, I was oh. right, it's all oily and stuff. Of course, of course it is. Ah, yeah, it's the uh, the bolo, I think. <laughs> Typical, of course, you know what it oh, is. Oh, that, that's... That, by, even by windless standards, like, this is slathered Ugh. In, in oil. This is really slimy. I'll have that to clean it up. That doesn't look like oil. Um, that, yeah, there's nothing No, we, do, we don't have right anything now. right here right now, but... Um, yeah, that's really interesting. That's uh, this sort of blade shape is definitely something else. It's it's got this. It's kind of got a slight for, forward curvature with the edge, even though it's mostly straight. It's like this. It's almost a leaf blade, but not quite. It's definitely one of the most unusual blade shapes, at least as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it seems to be, oh yeah, it's also sharpened on the back edge here, just at the top there. I'm surprised by how oddly irregular the handle is. Like it's got something here that's almost finger grooves, but it just kind of bumps. So, I'm, I don't know the history behind this. It says right here, 1918. And I don't know exactly how these were made. I'm guessing that it's probably one of these things where they were kind of mass produced pretty quickly for the First World War. That's a very nice blade. And I have to look into it, into these. I, I don't know anything about them yet. That's a pretty heavy duty sheath here. Let's see, there's some antique brass, I think. And it uh, looks like a wood core. Oh, that's interesting. It's covered in... I think it's burlap? Yeah, burlap. I see that right? And uh, yeah. some leather here. That's interesting. This part says RHS. Hmm. So shouldn't that be British? Because that says US mod. Okay. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look it up. I said... Well, either way, thank you very much. Yes! Yeah, it's definitely appreciated. I was uh, looking at some of these. Um, Call of Athena has several 
World War One and Two knives, and uh, I've been looking at them. But so far, I've just prioritized other things. But it's definitely great to to get my hands on one of these, yeah. just to see what they can do. It's a pretty hefty thing. Oh yeah, for sure. The uh, construction should definitely be sturdy. You can see that there's the the screws. The wood is roughly shaped. It's not sanded or anything. Looks like. So I'm assuming that's intentional. That's how these were originally done. So, yeah. Either way, I'll test it, mm -hmm. and uh, eventually I'll do a review, of course. Yep. And uh, yeah. So, again, thank you. Also, by the way, several people have asked if I have a a PO box, which I don't. And uh, the main reason for that is. If I kept getting packages on a, on a regular basis, I'd have to keep paying all the time. They charge 25 bucks for this, just you know, import tax and, and you know sometimes there's handling fees too if it's couriers and it, the stuff adds up. So that's any time somebody sends something from outside of Canada to the address and I, I have to pay for it. So it's it would just accumulate too much. So as it is, I just you know, do that exceptionally every now and then if somebody sends a message. If you're within Canada, you can send whatever you want pretty much, but outside it's uh, unfortunately a little more problematic. But yeah, it is appreciated and mm -hmm. uh, I hope you found it interesting to watch. So, Thank have you! A good, have a good one!